Morning. Good morning. How's it going, everybody? Come on in. Welcome to Southern California. Here's my studio here uh, in Southern California. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, we're just going to warm up and do a lot of stick control. We'll be playing along with Bembe, the uh, Afro-Cuban 12-8 uh, or 6-8 groove that originates from uh, Yoruban culture in West Africa. Uh, so we're going to get started real quick today and do a lot of playing. Uh, up here on your screen, you see 10 different stickings. Um, right, left, left is number one. We're going to start with that one. We're going to play it 20 times. 20 measures of that, I should say. 20 measures of right, left, left. Here we go. One, two, one, tita, two, tita, right, left, left, go. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Uh huh. Try to make it totally grooving, totally grooving. And just let the sticks bounce. If you have a mirror or something, make sure that the tips of the sticks are going equally high. Keep the sticks flowing. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. In fact, let's do more than 20 on this one. Let's just get the hands going. Just keep them going. Nice and flow. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Make sure it's totally grooving with grooving with that 12-8 bembe feeling you're hearing in the background. Like the, that's the 12A clave or 6A clave. The metal sound that you're hearing in the recording is not a cowbell. That's a hoe blade. Hoe blade. This is a folkloric style. Its roots are in Africa, but it really came into being in Cuba. and easy nice and relaxed okay we're gonna take a break now number two right right left right right left here we go one two one tita two tita ready go one two three let's do 20 measures of this four five Left, right, right. Here we go. One, two, left, right, right, left, right, right, ready, go. Left, right, right. Uh huh. How you doing? Are you hanging in there? Five, six, seven, eight. there number four left left right number four left left right should be up here number four is over on the side Let's see if I get right there sticking number four left left right here we go one two left left right left left right ready go left left right left left right left left right uh-huh Feel the flow. Let the sticks bounce. Feel the weight of the sticks. It should feel like bouncing a basketball. Let's do this one a bit longer than 20. Make sure that left hand gets nice and warmed up. I bet most of you are right-handed. If you are right-handed, like me, 
I recommend that you start things with your left hand and you play more notes with your left hand than your right. Also, your right hand has to learn how to follow. It has to learn how to be a follower. So when you start, when you start passages with your left hand, the right hand plays in places it's not used to playing. And a lot of people blame the left hand, but often it's the right hand that's not good at following. It's like a life lesson. Good leaders have to be good followers. You gotta know how to follow if you're gonna lead well. All right, we got lots of time on number four. Very good. Let's take a break. Number five, right, right, left, left. Yes, this is four notes long. Right, right, left, left. And yes, we're in a 12-8 compound meter. That means we have 12 beats in every measure, but there's only four larger pulses underneath. The 12 beats are here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The four beats are here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So when we play four note patterns here and we put it, we superimpose it on this 12 8 time signature, we're going to be creating a complex hemiola. Papa, ta ta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. See, those groups of four don't line up with the, the beat that I'm playing with my left foot right now. That's what we mean by a hemiola. Three pulses in the space of four. Anyway, here we go. Sticking number five, 20 times. Two, one, two, ready, go. Mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, four more. Right there. Excellent, everybody. Good job, good job. Okay, moving on. Number six, paradiddles. It's also a four note sticking, so again, it's going to create that teeniola. That does make it a little bit more difficult. You might need to put a little more practice time into these. Number six, here we go. No accents, by the way, on these paradiddles. No accents. One, two, one tita, two tita, three tita, four tita, paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. As smooth as possible. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. more. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Very good. Number seven, left hand lead, double stroke roll, dada mama. Here we go. One, two, 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 seven, go. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. I highly recommend on uh, six, five, seven, eight, ten. I recommend that you practice counting the big beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. We gotta have a smooth pulse. Keep going with this one. Let's bring it up a little bit. Make sure you're firing off two wrist motions. Two wrist motions. I think in your warm-ups, beginning with small motions is good. 
small motions. So we didn't start with this. Make sure it's totally groovy. Four more. One, two, three, four. Good. Good. Number eight, left hand lead, paradiddles. One, two, one tita, two tita, ready, go. Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Basically the same thing we did before. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The idea here is that if I wasn't watching you play, I shouldn't be able to tell at all what hand you're on. It should sound totally smooth. If you weren't watching me, you, I don't want you to know what hand I'm on. To achieve that, you really have to have a relaxed touch. And you have to have the same amount of tension and pressure on each stick. If you're squeezing real hard on one and not real hard on the other, they're gonna sound way different. They're gonna sound way different, okay? All right, cool, let's move on number nine. Three on each hand. One tita, two tita, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one. Nice and relaxed. Just let the stick bounce, people. Let the stick bounce. Man, I have to say, I have really appreciated all the people reaching out to me and connecting with me over the last few months since I started doing these live streams. Also, I noticed I've been getting a lot more exposure to all of you and what you're doing, and it's super inspiring. I know some of you I reached out and I said, hey, what you're doing is really inspiring me. Thank you. Keep, keep that up. We got to share what we're doing, folks. Music and art doesn't and can exist in a bubble. We, needs, we need each other. I really wasn't counting. I wasn't counting. Shame on me, I know. One, two, three, four. One tita, two tita, three tita, four tita. One, two, three. Or maybe I can sing the three against four in Yola. Let's look at number 10. 20 times on number 10. 20 times on number 10. By the way, feel free, when you're here, pop in on the comments and say, this is great, I'd like to see, I'd like to do this. Can you do one about this? Can you do more of this? Can you do less of this? That's fine. Pop in and say hi. Put a comment in there and say hi. Number 10, 20 times, I'll count now. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Nice and flowing. You know, instead of 20 times, this time, set the timer. Let's set the timer one minute. Let's do one minute of this. Here we go. I encourage you to explore ways to leverage and utilize repetition in your practice. You could set a timer count the repetitions are you doing are you grooving uh, 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 uh. let that stick 
basic bounce. Good, now just the right hand. Just the right hand. And it's not on the screen, I know. Let's bounce that stick. You know, I think good drumming and good playing, part of it is bouncing the ball. You gotta bounce the ball. Just let it bounce. And don't squeeze hard. It should come right out of your hand effortlessly. Okay, left hand. Just bounce it. Let that stick bounce. My four-year-old daughter, when she does piano, and she has to use her left hand, she puts her right hand on the head. Make sure it's totally grooving. Okay, cool. Four of each sticking now. One, two, four measures of each, and ready, go. Right, left, left, 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 right, left, left. Two more measures. One more. Now number two. Right, right, left, right, right, left. Two. Three. Four. Now number three. Left, right, right, left, right, right. Two. Three. Four. Now number four. Left, left, right. Two. Three. Four. Now number five. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Two, three, four, six. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. Three, four, seven. Left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Three, four, eight. More paradiddles. Right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 left, left, left. Uh huh. And then ten. One, two, three, four. 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 Sorry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom! There it is. All right, everybody. I think it's time to take it up tempo-wise. Okay, that that was 114 beats per minute. On my YouTube channel, I created a variety of Bembe practice tracks at a variety of tempos just for you guys at home who have been doing the live streams. So you can pop onto my YouTube page and you can work on these um, stick control exercises or if it's a roll exercises or whatever you've been, you've been checking out and doing with me, you can hop onto my YouTube page and, and get a slower Bembe practice track and play along. It goes all the way down to like 64 or 70 something uh, beats per minute or both. So you can start really slow. For example, if you're having a tough time doing, say, number six, paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. You can, you can get a bembe track, play along track that goes very slow and you can be breaking that down and developing this good feel. Because people, so many, I bet so many of you have spent a lot of time on stick control before. And, you know, you don't want that to make you stiff. You don't want, you don't want to be doing exercises for exercises sake. Okay. I, I wasted too much of my life doing exercises for the sake of exercises. If you're going to do an exercise, do it musically. And I think playing along with something with great feel like Bembe, which just brilliantly juxtaposes three against two and, and really gets at the heart of groove and just feels great. Um, I think Bembe is a great style and a great feeling to do this along to. Plus, it's, it's, since it's 12-8 or 6-8, it's really conducive to jazz. And, of course, as you probably know, I'm a jazz musician. So for me personally, you know, it's right up my alley. So this was 114 beats a minute. We're going to bump it up, move to the 135 beat per minute track. And, again, we're going to do four of each sticking. So four number one, four sorry, four measures, four measures number one, four measures number two, four measures number three, and so on and so forth. One, two, number one. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, two, three, four. Good, number two. Right, right, left. Two, there we go. Now we're cooking. Number three, left, right, right. Think ahead. Number four. Left, left, right. Okay, number five. 
Mama da da, mama da da, mama da da. Six. Seven. Number two, right, right, left. Left, right, right is next. Left, right, right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, next. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two. Number five, mama, dada, mama, dada, mama, dada. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, six. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two. Seven. Yeah. Eight. How you doing? Nine. Again, four of each. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Two. Three. Four. Make sure you're flowing. Six. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Seven. Three measures of each. We're going to close the gap. We're going to spend less and less time on each of one through ten until we're just playing one measure of each because then we will be playing this, this exercise the way that I play it, the way that I like to use it personally. Now, you don't have to do that. You can just sit on number one for 20 years and just work number one. That's fine. But I'm just sharing with you how I do it. Here we go, three measures on each. One, two, one, two, number one. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. Moving on. One, two, three. Moving on. Number three, left, right, right, left, right, right. Left, right, right. Four, left, left, right. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Two, three, six. Paradiddle. Two, three, seven. Two, three, eight. Paradiddle, paradiddle, paradiddle. Nine. Very good. Two measures of each. Make sure you're thinking ahead. Two measures of each. This time, I will simply count one, two, three, four throughout the duration. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, three, four. One, two, three. Number two. One, two, three, four. One, two. Number three. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four.
Number three. One, two, three, four, one, two. Number four. One, three, four, one, two, 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 four, one, two, three, 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 Again, two, one, two, ready, go, one. Number one. Now number two. Two. Sticky number three. Three. Four. Five. Sorry. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Great. Thank, sorry for that little stutter in there as I adjusted my foot. One measure on each now. One measure on each. You've got to think ahead. So we'll do four beats of number one. Right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left. Then four beats of number two. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. And, and right on to the next, one after the next, okay? So the hands have to be going. They have to have familiarity with these stickings some muscle memory needs to have accrued by now and you also have to be thinking ahead to make sure that your your drum head or your musician head is is staying sharp one measure of each one two one two ready go of nine two of ten good let's stop i forgot to mention nine and ten are twice it says two two x right underneath them we'll do them each two times so forgive me i misspoke earlier one through eight one measure each nine and ten two measures of two measures each it makes a 12 measure phrase here we go one one, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. Totally grooving. Five, six, seven, eight. Now two of each. Repeat. Repeat. Again. One, two, ready, go. We'll do it again. We're going to do it again. Again, we're at 135 beats per minute here. This time I'm going to play on my SPDSX sampler pad. I love this thing. We're playing bembe. You hear congas. There's three conga parts. I'm going to improvise a little solo, which will be this exercise on my congas. Okay. Um, Developing good stick control is really important on the SPDSX. It's very touch sensitive. So to get things to sound smooth and even, you have to have nice technique. Here we go. One, two, one, two, ready, go. One, two, ready, go. Nice. 
Great job, everybody. So hopefully by this point, you're knowing, you know, maybe some stickings you need to work on. Maybe you're noticing one hand or the other isn't rebounding or bouncing quite as effortlessly. Maybe you noticed a lot of improvement when we were playing slowly. Um, regardless, I hope you had a great time today. And before we finish, let's do a couple runs at 174 beats per minute. This is the fastest Bembe practice track that I have on my YouTube channel, the fastest one. Here we go. It's super fast! Okay. One, three, one, two, ready, go. There we go! Let's try it again. Did you hang? I don't know. It's pretty quick. Uh, even me keeping those even, especially number 10 on the SBDSX is a little bit of a challenge. Do less. I think less is more. Let's do it one more time. Can you even find beat one? One, two, one, two, three, four. Cool. So, hey, everybody. Look, if you had like, you know, half as much fun as I had, I know you had a great time. Don't be discouraged by any of this stuff. If it's too hard for you or you perceive it as being too difficult, don't sweat that. You just are in a different place on this big, infinite spectrum of experience. If you keep playing and you keep working on this, you will eventually play it just as well as I do. I promise you. The only thing that's going to keep you from doing that, uh, from stopping, uh, forgive me, the only thing that would be you discontinuing developing your own skills. So as long as you keep playing and having fun, you're going to get there, everybody. Have a great day. When you go out into the world today, uh, spread a little bit of positivity and, and cheer and, uh, you know, check me out. Uh, reach out to me if you have any questions or if you need some drum set lessons or percussion lessons or whatever. Of course, I'm here, but... Um, at, at any rate, you know, have a great day, everybody. Thanks for stopping in.